Hey guys, so I'm going to tell you how to change the modes on your drone. Um, by default, this will come uh, with this angle the whole uh, way here. And what this is saying is no matter where the switch is set, you will always be flying in auto level mode is what angle mode means. So what I like to do is set switch C here to change my flight modes because then you can have three of them. So to do that, you're going to hold mode, go down to aux channel, which is the bottom of this menu, and then you're just going to go and you're going to find uh, which channel, you're going to set channel 7 to switch C, SWC, and then you're going to go back on to your computer and you're going to look at your receiver and you're going to see that when you hit that switch C, which auxiliary port does it change? And in this case, it's changing both 1 and 3. Um, this would be a problem if you're using 1 or 3 for something else, but um, just the way the controller is programmed, it's using both. You could unbind this, but because we won't be using uh, all six switches, we will just leave it for now. So you could choose either 1 or 3. I'm going to go ahead and just change this to 1. So now you can see when you move this, it changes your mode. Now you got to save that. Don't forget to save that for sure um, in order to get that onto the drone. So now you can hear the beep when it changes flight modes. So when the cursor is in this green area, which is the very top position, it is in auto level mode. And I would recommend that so when you start off, um, and if, especially if you're a beginner flyer, uh, you could always fly in angle mode or, or uh, auto level mode. Uh, then when you start it up and all the switches are up, you'll start in auto level. And then when you get more comfortable, you can switch it down. And if you want to come in for a landing or you feel uncomfortable, you just flip it back up and you're now in angle mode. There's also more advanced modes such as air mode, horizon mode, um, and a whole bunch of other type of modes you can set, um, but those are a little more advanced than what we'll need, and if you are interested in that, you can look at the forums online, uh, but I would focus on angle, and then horizon mode is kind of an in-between. Uh, it might be a good one to set also on your aux, and if you do set that, make sure the values don't overlap, but then you could use your controller, and you can change that so you have three modes. You can hear, then you get the three beeps, and it changes which one is green, changing which mode you are in. So that is the very easy, it's how to set your flight modes. Um, and again, up here, uh, if you haven't watched the video, this is how to arm it. And this is just, a, again, another switch you set, which sets it for arm or disarm. Angle, horizon, and when this is not in any of those, you're in what's called rate mode, which means there's no auto leveling at all and you're completely flying free. So if it tilts, um, a little bit, then it'll stay tilted until you move it back, uh, which is how most people fly right now in FPV racing or proximity flying. Um, but if you're just learning, angle uh, would be a great place to start and then transition to horizon and eventually rate mode. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below or let us know. Ask our customer service or see our online storefront, force1rc.com. Uh, we may have some answers to your questions there. Also check out videos on how to fit the receiver into your Force One RC racing drone and how to s set up your receiver uh, to arm and to talk to your drone. Thanks for watching this video guys and I'll see you again in another one.